Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Yixian, the auto-battling deck builder that has reconsumed my mind. We're going to be going back to Xiao Bu here in the new faction because I'm really curious about a type of deck that this faction can do that I don't see as many people do, which is kind of this debuff yourself with a bunch of stuff and then give it all to the enemy. It's a really cool archetype that seems to be a part of this faction, but the other stuff does seem to be like clearly stronger or at least easier to pilot. So I see it a lot more. So in we're gonna go to see what we can do with Xiao Bu. Definitely gonna be my first time attempting this six second wait time. I'm not even going to, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, but hey, we got another one. Uh, we got a Tukui here. But definitely uh, not a faction I, I know a ton of. So we have, I mean, okay. We don't need to get ourselves a whole bunch of penalties right away. But, okay. Eight attack, one chi, gain a stack of wound. You know, love wound. Six attack, one more attack per force. Eight attack, cost a chi to make an additional four attack. I don't necessarily want that. Oh, we do want physique. Hold on. Like, we're not going a physique build by doing this, to be clear. Uh, physique is just a thing that you kind of want on this faction pretty reliably. Uh, because you can upgrade further. I could just ignore it. Maybe we could try and do a physique-less kind of setup for it, I, I guess. This is not that helpful currently, you know? And, you know, we, we weakened ourselves with the wounds. We kind of... <laughs> Congratulations, I played myself. Uh, let's go Formation Master, I think. We could have, mm, yeah. There's a, there's a couple. We could have, we could have also gone like musician, I guess, for for debuffs. So let's yeah, let's take a look. Seven attack uh, triggered in the next crash fist as well. I mean, this is crazy. We're just gonna apply so many debuffs to ourselves. It is gonna be hard to believe that it's gonna be that helpful. So two times at the end of turn, do four damage. So boom, boom. Uh, three times, add three more attack and apply the smash defense effect. So if they have any defense, they uh, they won't for long. And then we're just going to cycle between <laughs> giving ourselves wound and internal injury. Uh, but also they are pretty high damage cards. Like they're higher damage than normal as they should be if we are damaging ourselves over it. Okay, boom, boom. And you end your multi-strike so this wound... The wound just is gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna bop me. Gee, why aren't people doing this deck? Uh, I jest. Obviously, it's far too early in the run to... Uh, to say anything about that. Unceasing Exercise is probably a good call... Uh, to slap into this deck regardless. Four attack, three physique, three health. That gives us the... You know, a decent amount of physique to help out. 14 attack, ignore defense, gain 3 stacks of weakened. It's interesting. So we could do... Mm, 3 stacks of weakened. So you'd kind of like want to play this and then you'd run a couple like... I don't know. You'd run a couple defensive cards after it. Weaken goes away at the end of your turn. Yes. Huh. It's it's an interesting one. You're, you're playing with a lot of fire. You're playing with a lot of fire. Okay. We have the three damage smash attack. I mean, sure, we can heal a little bit. We get a little bit of physique, which can be good. Womp. We get weakened, though, which is definitely painful. The weakened, the, the weakened made the difference in me not being able to kill, so it's like, you definitely have to factor that in. Soul Seizing is 100% going to be part of one of the decks, right? Steal 7 HP from the opponent, steal one more for each debuff they have. Obviously could be very useful. Um, I don't have enough chi for this to be much of anything. Okay. 
Four attack times two, gain three stacks of flaw. But we could do like this pretty massive hit. Okay, maybe this is finally it, right? Gain two stacks of hexproof. So we don't get the debuffs. You know what? That's probably the way to run it in the early game, if I'm going to be honest. If if we're like being realistic with it. Okay, so can we catch up to the physique cap? It, it sure looks like it. If we had an exceptionally like long run, we could maybe do that. Uh, so <laughs> giving them flaw into uh, an internal injury meme dream is definitely painful, but we also got our first win there, which I feel like that makes sense as well. It feels... I feel like I am in a spot that would make more sense now. Life shop is open. Cultivation one. If there's a normal attack in your deck, permanently add two max HP at the end of the battle. Let's get let's get stupid. Let's get stupid. This is probably like bad. Is it better? I mean, we lose out out on eight damage. Two times at the beginning of your turn, add an internal injury to them. That might be a good call. Take it over what? Uh, this? You'd want to put it first? Eh, we'll take it over this, because then we can... Maybe get a combo there. Reduce a stack of a random debuff. You know... No. <laughs> Oh, how dare you. <laughs> All right, we get two max HP. We're taking the L because if I'm going to be real, we're probably taking the L anyways. For uh, a bit of these. Okay, we get the physique. We get a little heal. Hip, hip, hooray. Sword intent. Here you go. I'm wide open for your multi-strike. Thank you. Here, you, you we'll give you a little bit of a gift there. 18 damage. You know what? We actually almost had it. And it had nothing to do, you know, our loss had nothing to do with the normal the normal attacks. So that's that's actually good to know. If you lack chi when playing a card, spend 3 HP and a physique to substitute. I don't think we do that. Right? Eh. Eh, maybe we do. Chi and Physique. Physique plus three. Gain two Entangled. Eight defense and one more for each stack of debuff. That's good. That's very good. We'll have plenty of debuffs at that point. And we'll just kind of like be stalling out a little bit. Three, four, six agility. Probably should. I'm not gonna. Oh boy. Give me that max HP. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we, uh, I don't know if we make it there anyways. We have a build that's either gonna, we're either gonna kill him or we're gonna fizzle out ourselves in that amount of time for the most part, right? Boom, boom. We get the flaw. Ow. I open myself up. Nice week for you. And then we go chomp, chomp. See, there you go. We're running the normal attack, technically. We don't need to play it. Uh, I got rid of this, right? Yeah. Transfer one stack of your debuff to the opponent. Now, there we go. Now, there we go. Do we want to transfer the flaw? I think we want to transfer the flaw. Well, but transferring one flaw, it goes away at the, the end of your turn. Okay. So, we don't really care about that. We want to transfer maybe like the, the weaken. Oh, that's, I just found a typo.
I think uh, throwing the weekend makes a little bit more sense since the flaw is going to go away. Yeah, the flaw goes would go away before we could actually use it. Okay. Have a have an internal injury. Oh my lord. Ow. It was actually pretty close. Lost because... <laughs> uh, gain three stacks of Hexproof. And gain ten defense. I think that there's something interesting there. I think we could try that out. That That's a... um. That's a formation card. Costs one chi less for each stack of debuff. I would have two on me. This would be two chi. Right? The hexproof messes that up, though. Three entangle. That, that works pretty well. The flaw it does not stay. The weakened will stay. So two, three, two, one. Yeah, we need to move that out. I think the hexproof formation is an interesting idea. I definitely need to trash these. We're going second for no good reason. But this faction, I feel like on app, what, what? On average, this faction is going to be going second. Do we just ditch the physique angle in any in any shape or form? If our cultivation is higher than our physique, it gonna matter less cool cool yeah the the weekend we can't have that after the weekend it just doesn't it does not work but we're also not gonna live long enough otherwise apply and gain one stack of internal in injury and one stack of wound six attack twice all right uh let us try that instead we'll try that instead Hexproof is... It's a very interesting idea. We could maybe run two of those. This is... Can you tell I'm in completely uncharted territory? Uh, When the deck next destiny is exhausted, keep one destiny and not be eliminated. Gain five max HP, physique, and physique cap. Sure. Okay, this is useful. I think let's just ditch that. We probably ditch this too. Maybe we can run it. We just run another uh, poisonous form formation. I think that's a, actually the better call. I'm not making it here. <laughs> like, I haven't been making it here. So we were at least farming up some extra max HP in the, you know, during the time being. We're at 86 current. Obviously, our max max HP is higher, higher baby i feel like i need to get rid of that flaw like oh you're running cloud sword that early huh interesting please don't tell me you somehow have the next one Tw that's 20 block so that is 25 damage and here we go delicious all right have we stabilized have we stabilized somehow One chi. Okay, I think this is workable. Ugh. I had chi for this last time. That could be fine. Love it. This is good. Oh, bo 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 boom boom boom. There's no way I have enough chi, right? Three entangled, so we'll have. We will have the internal injury still. 
and the wound. So we have two. So we have two less there. I mean, I was able to play Soul Seizing last time. And it has not mattered that I am running a normal on my last yet. The second I run like a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me you're building up still. No, you're not. That's not good for us. Big tank. Big blast. Okay. Slurp. You found it! Oh! With a normal attack. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeesh. Ah, uh, what a surprise. Yeah, you're running the more traditional deck and you're at the top of the lobby. I haven't lost once. Pretty uh, understandable. Okay. If I go first, am I going first? I'm going first. It's two, one, zero. Here's where I... I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine there. <laughs> I'm going to run this later, but I'm, I'm gaining two max health every time. And it looks like that max health is current max HP too. I'm at 94. Okay, so now we get the weaken. You you stack up. I do this. You're stacking up. I do this. I do not have any flaw for any of your attacks. Is it gonna matter? Next attack ignores defense. Oh. Okay. It's finally time. The 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 slurp is uh the slurp is maybe mattering. It's not mattering. We have the chase there. We we eventually get one. So that's good to know. Um Yeah, okay. I don't know if a second I mean <laughs> we're not getting to a second loop, but I don't know if a second loop. We would have enough if we remove... I mean, definitely not if we remove that. Uh, physique, restore, percentage of max HP. I gotta remove one of these. But I think I'm keeping the entangled, if I'm being real. Ah, screw it. Max HP 5, add an HP whenever you get a stack of the buff. Okay. You have 82 health. Do I slot this in? Finally? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's been it's been working fine. You attack early, you do not attack early. I mean elusive footwork is is borderline irrelevant. So two chi, one, two. We have four, so we have two from this. And that it should be fine. Elusive footwork is borderline irrelevant. Bearing the load isn't going to help us either, though. Because he doesn't attack me until the second half of his deck. So, like, ugh, I might as well just keep the other one. Because the thing is, I do take damage from my own my own poison, at the very least. Ooh, you got a lot of health. Okay. The armor at least did something. But, unsurprisingly to anyone, the man is obviously... Doing quite well here. And my second loop absolutely is not going to work very well. Uh, I don't think that I have a card that would make the difference on this extra normal, but I think it's finally time that I, I can't. Uh, I don't think I can do it anymore. Maybe. 
There we go. Both players get four stacks of internal injury. Add one chi, one HP for each two stacks of debuffs you have. Uh, I could probably get rid of this now, which I think is much safer. Like, much safer. And then we heal. Where do we put this? Do we put... We don't put this in last, do we? Maybe we do. Uh, apply two stacks of every kind of debuff on you. Hold up. We can actually stop them from getting chased. Ooh. All of a sudden, this deck looks like a deck. Okay. Uh, as good as this is, I think stealing the health is better. Because we are going to be dying big time. Uh, this gives us more chi. Ugh. 60? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that makes sense. I was looking at 46. That's my physique. Okay. Pain. So this is apply two stacks of all the debuffs on you. And then your debuffs are regarded as power. I mean, that's good. Uh-oh. Zerp. Uh-oh. Ha! Oh, he's in there. Spiritual pet? All cards gain chase and you lose 10 HP before... Ay, Karumba. Okay, um, we can't run bearing the load if we do that. Uh, oh my god, this is unhinged. Um, so we don't want we don't want this we can't have that surely we have four of course we have four uh on us at that point do we need to absorb faster maybe probably apply two stacks Whew. we definitely don't need that i mean i think we just go out in a blaze of glory right at this point if we're going out we're going out in a blaze of glory All right. The question is if I... <laughs> this is terrifying. All cards gain chase, but you lose 10 HP. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I love it. So chase, lose 10 health. We apply this. It's a very quick um, way to send myself to hell. But also, it's kind of maybe working. Sweet. It's incredible. Was that a turn three kill? Is that Miro? Okay, so that... Uh, we don't really need Miru. If we, I mean, I could keep this stuff as like a the safer way of playing this, but I say screw it. At this point, why play it safe? This is unhinged. I don't think that I, I think we need a new um, continuous. I guess is probably what I would say. One, two, three. So one, two. Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh... Ugh, Mero's so good, but... 
Yeah, a different continuous. This is this is crazy. Uh, uh <laughs> Oh boy. I mean, we're no stranger to to taking damage. So three. So we're gonna be <sighs> interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like I probably should get rid of this, which means... Honestly, I should probably just get rid of that. Um, one, two, three... Well, I can't put double trouble there, because then we don't have enough chi, right? Four stacks, two chi. I, I, surely I don't have enough chi at all anyways, right? For each two stacks of debuffs. Am I confused? I am confused. I shouldn't have enough chi. God, if we were musician, this would be better. Because then we could have the, uh, you get three poison. How did I play my cards last time? I thought for sure I wouldn't have enough chi. This makes sense. Okay, force agility, you get to do your thing, whatever. Absorb. Incoming ow. I have the chi, I guess. Uh-oh. Huh. Delicious, nutritious, that would have been me probably, yeah, out of the game. Apparently, I have it. I'm going to get Wound, which is not good. If I could apply Weaken, that'd be better. I have a lot of max HP. 8% of it is not that much, though, at this point. I don't think I care for this because I think I'm going to swap it. I, I, like Ideally, I just get another Soul Seizing or Soul Cleaving. Soul Seizing, Hash Slinging, Slasher. Two stacks of Wound. I don't know if I really want to open myself up to that. Finishing touch. Oh, you're at, you're going for the stall build. It's interesting. Dharma. Okay. Very interesting. So maybe I don't care about this. Is it going to make a difference for my? Oh, it's not going to make a difference for me going first. Uh, speaking of not making a difference, scroll of immortality. We probably might as well run it. They're probably okay. They're not waiting for me. If you lack chi, spend 3 HP in a physique. That's why. Do I want to get the wound right away? That that actually works pretty that actually oh, that works pretty well. Okay. We go we go first, really. That is probably going to make a pretty big difference. I don't know if you can be fast enough to beat me here. Like, oh, oh, no, definitely. Sorry, that's greed. That's greed. No. Running Echo in there, too? That is too much greed. I would know. <sighs> Anthemania. Anthemania. Continuous two times at the end of your turn, apply a stack of decrease attack, and then steal one HP for every stack of decrease attack they have. That's better. It 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 probably will be better. It's it's hard to say. Probably shouldn't have been super gung-ho about it there. Do I Okay, so you obviously get the extra hexagram. Hexagram. 
Great. Interesting. So you have a really slow start, like a really slow start. And then this is a little bit a little bit messy. I don't think we die to this. So I could run this if I wanted to, but I feel like is the 24 better? They're going to have how many stacks of wounds? Are they going first? Shouldn't be. This is unhinged. Shadow Owl Rabbit takes this extremely slow build and cooks it. Pressure cooks it. I'm losing 10 HP all the time anyway. Who cares? I wonder if this guy's, um... Oh, you didn't take it. The, like, the max HP... Uh, that is noteworthy. Please tell me... Okay, so you're fighting each other? Oh. Oh, that's why you're going... Oh, you turned off the greed. Okay. This is kind of a hybrid. Oh, no, you didn't turn off the greed. That was the person who died. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is the day where I said everyone should go unrestrained sword because everyone's going to do the stall build. <laughs> I'm recording it on the same day. That's right. All these in advance. Because I just did. I just couldn't. I had to play more. Bum, 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 bum. I do get to go first. The decreased attack isn't going to be that big of a deal for you. But it does still heal me as well, which is nice. Okay. Uh, and I'm sorry to say you don't get a play. That's like a that's a turn three freaking kill. It's unreal. Okay, me fighting him is ungood, so he has that other card. He's gonna slap me with it. Uh, which means I'm going to get one stack. Uh, I'm gonna, he's going to stop one chase. I'm going to get one stack of wounds. But the, th Ooh. the thing is, that doesn't matter that much. Okay. It, it's, it's annoying, but me getting a wound isn't a big deal. Like, he's 100% going to slot that in. And this is... I feel like this is the all the marbles moment, right? Uh, There's a s extremely small chance... Okay, I think I'm trashing that for the small chance that I can go first. But there's an extremely small chance... The next time after losing HP, gain defense equal. Interesting. Interesting. I would love another one of these. Oh my god. I would love another one of those. Ooh. Ooh, he went for something. I think he's slotting back in his anti-chase card, but again, like... I don't care that much. I feel like Anthemania is not particularly needed against you either. In fact, it's not needed at all. So what? Do I... Do this? Just in case he runs the chase so that I get the full loop anyways? I guess. I, I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna really matter. It, de it depends. This is better. I think this is better if he runs the anti chase card. But he doesn't. Obviously, he doesn't really. Oh, I get to go first. It's huge. He doesn't. No matter what, he does not care about the uh, the multi. The multi strike anti card. Okay, so we are doing the we're doing the full shebang anyways here. Which is a little bit scary. Oh, oh. Oh, we're good, right? Oh, we're good. 
Oh, we're good. I think... I think that's the lobby. This this is terrifying. <laughs> this is terrifying, but this doesn't make sense. Oh, you literally built the counter me exclusively. I see, I see. I do think Anthemania makes sense against you. Uh, Echo Formation? I could, I could Anthemania Echo Formation? I... Oh. This is terrifying. We are... I think it's just kind of a... It's, a, it's an all or nothing, man. I think that we just kind of got to say, okay, so you do this. Th that this is gonna hurt if I get to go first that helps because then I take so it's one so one two it's a big deal <laughs> that's 36 damage that I'll probably take with my loop it's a big potential deal I if you leave your deck like this then I'm fine though, because this Meru is wasted. If you get an upgraded Meru, because you're he's skip yeah, he's skipping in or she's chip uh, skipping and chasing a chase. I don't get to go first. That is concerning. Oh. Okay. I I wonder. Oh you figured it out? Okay. I wonder if this was your the correct choice for you. I think that was way too slow, my friends. I think that your other deck might have worked better. Dude. <laughs> what a comeback. Uh, obviously, <laughs> the rabbit card... It's a good, like, let's... Uh, spade a spade moment. It's a busted card. It is extremely busted in that deck because it doesn't have a lot of space to run chase. You literally run that uh, the card that gives you entangled because you don't have any room for chase and you want to at least apply entangled to them, you know? It, it runs that card usually because it has no room for chase. If you can remove that whole aspect from the, the deck and just get your own chase, but you're playing no cards that normally have chase and they're all chasing, it's incredible. That is... That is disgusting, that deck. Actually disgusting. But yeah, I... I don't know. Here, one moment. Let me go check the recap here one sec. All right, back at the recap. Um, Also, truth be told... Oh, you can't adjust their cards. Uh, as soon as you play Unrestrained Sword 0, you might as well have Unrestrained Sword 2 right here so that your first Unrestrained Sword 1 gets buffed. Sorry, I've played this deck a lot. I don't want to backseat this, but it's... I'm thinking what could have been a problem for me is there a way where i would have lost this if this this is a fantastic card and you normally run it if you're running it you might as well put flame dance probably like right here uh to make your under first unrestrained sword card have more value and then you run one and then two two miru i guess right yeah well but we we know you had the dragon chase card so you like you probably just Take one of these out. Unrestrained Sword. Into Unrestrained Sword 1. Cloud Sword Chase into 2. Miru skip back to the beginning. Or not quite. Uh, something like that. Would that have killed me? I don't think I don't think it would have. I still don't think it would have. But I wanted to um I wanted to play this back real quick. How much health did we have at the end? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is this really a... Th this is a three-turn kill? Hold on. Because it's... One? No, it's... Two? No, it's... Three. It's a four-turn kill. It's a four-turn kill, for sure. But it's... It's the quickest, like, one-deck play. It's really... It's... It was filthy. Um... 
I mean, I was going to say, let's see what it would, would look like without this, but obviously that's not going to be... That's not good. Like, we built around this. So, uh... Alas, alas, that is that, though. That's going to do it here for today for Yi Xian. What, a, what an extremely good version of this deck. Like, man, just get this card, Forehead. The thing is, because, yeah, it's... it's. How do you normally get this? Picking it, like, from here. You can maybe get, like, a spiritual pet or whatever. But you don't want to not take Unwavering Soul, obviously. So, it's it's a tricky one. This is a very cool deck. I This is probably my favorite deck I've played. Uh, man, I really liked it. Alas, alas, that's that. That's good to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. Rogue likes and more, typically. Auto battlers, deck builders, and auto battling deck builders. And I'll see you next time. Bye.